and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Yes, you are. So you might notice our world's a little bare behind us. That's because <laughs> we're recovering from the auction, which you guys completely slayed us at, but also because we're starting to pack, pack up the up. studio for the move. Yeah. Um, so some of the pieces that have sold or that we're going to sell have come off the wall. Um, and we're also going to do a real interesting pour today using some leftover paints. Yes. And it's going to be two Dutch pours. Oh, okay. Or double Dutch pours, as you hey, might say. Double Dutch. Exactly. However, we are going to use different base coats. So um, there's going to be some variations here in the two pours for sure. It's yeah, going to be sure. a real fun Dutch pour. I've just done some Dutch pours and I'm really starting to, you know, really get into the groove of the technique. Mm. And I know you wanted to have another go. Oh yeah, I love doing Dutch pours. Mm. We've got some really fun ones around the studio that we've both poured. So yeah, really excited about it. Um, if you haven't seen the Pour the Love collaboration that happened not that long ago, please mm. go check out the 10, yes, 10 artists. Ten that you'll, tens across the board, that you will have seen in that collaboration with us. It was so much fun. And if you are here on a premiere, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It's yeah. totally free to do so. And it's amazing. It doesn't cost you a penny. Makes us really happy. It doesn't cost you a penny. And it doesn't cost a penny. No, it's completely free to do so. <laughs> um, and yes, you'll keep us pouring and keep smiles on our faces. Um, so that's it. Without further ado, I'm excited to show you my base coat colour because I'm really yes. interested about it. And um, yeah, let's get to pouring. Let's we'll, get to pouring. We will see you at the table. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you're currently looking at here is my 11 by 14 canvas, which has got its back in and its push pins. And we're gonna get into a couple of Dutch pours, some really fun little pours um, using some leftover paints. What we've got here on the table is Quinacridone Rose by Amsterdam. Ooh. And I've got Turquoise, Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. Ooh. I've got Metallic Blue by Artist Loft, which is a really awesome colour. Ah. I've got this really awesome yellow flash colour shift, which I want to try out again. So that's in my pot. I have 24 karat gold and I also have Primary Cyan. Now the Primary Cyan I've mixed with a little bit of pearl and also some 24 karat gold. So it's got a little bit of shimmer and shine to it and that's what I'm going to use as my base coat. So. Without further ado, I'm going to put this onto my canvas and let's tilt this out. Wow, that primary cyan with the turquoise and that little shimmer of the 24 karat gold is really pretty. It's a really, really interesting base coat color. So now let's get layering. So I'm going to start off with some of blue. And this is the metallic cobalt blue, which is really awesome. That's the wonderful rose. Now some of the color flash. And then finally a little touch of the gold. All right, take in little pinky. Let's blow this bad boy out.
Wow, so that's really fun. It's like Miami on a canvas. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Totally is. Right? Yeah, Miami Vice. It's really, really cool. I like the colors in this one a lot. So um, I do have a little bit of lacing and a little bit of selling, but not too much here. Now it's because I don't have a lot of metallics. I didn't overuse the gold, I don't feel. Um, but I'm hoping that you can see the shimmer and the shine of the base as well. Um, yeah, that was really fun. Um, a really quick and interesting little Dutch pour using some really beautiful colors. Um, I have a feeling this one's gonna dry really, really well. Um, but I'm gonna torch this one off. I'm gonna go around my edges real quick and then we'll take you in for a close-up. All right, guys, I am so excited about all this, uh, doing its amazing Dutch pour. Um, you just saw Lee do his. I'm gonna be using kind of the same colors. I'm adding a couple of different ones in there, um, but I'm uh, using this quinacridone rose um, that he used. Um, he used this metallic blue, blue metallic, yes, metallic blue by Artist Loft. Um, this yummy vermilion, which I love the orange my, by Amsterdam. I didn't use that one. I know you didn't use that one. The olive green light by Amsterdam and the lovely nickel Titan yellow, nickel Titan yellow. This is like a really cool yellow. Um, I got my 11 by 14 canvas mm -hmm. here. It's pinned and everything on the back. Um, and I want to jump right into this. So yeah. let's go ahead and get to pour in here. And your base coat is white. My base coat is going to be white. That's slick white. Okay. That is blick white. Okay guys, got it flooded. Let's get to pouring this Dutch pour here. Let's see, I think I'm gonna start out with this vermilion. Mm-hmm, your Ooh. favorite color. Nice healthy portion of that. Pretty blue. Yellow. Green. I am so excited. <laughs> All right. So we got the trusty blow dryer here. Let's go ahead and start this. I know that I've been going back and forth. I know that I've been leaving you with questions. I know I should, but I don't want to fall. I know with you I have to learn my lessons. And you go up when I go down. You see clear when I go blind. When I fall hard, you turn me around. Oh, and you go up when I go down. You see clear when I go blind.
This came out, I think, pretty amazing. The cells in here are going crazy. And yeah, I'm loving it. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. It's like a Bahama dream. I, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it. I'm gonna get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. You know, Dutch pours are always really quick on the channel um, because it's a, it's a fairly speedy process. <laughs> the stuff that takes the longest is actually the stuff that you don't see us do, which is us mixing, mixing paint pain. and choosing paint. And, yeah, and choosing paint. You know, for us here in the studio, not only have we got the argument that I'm sure every couple have, which is what we having for dinner. What do you want for dinner? What are we having for dinner? We've also got now, what colour should we use? Let's yes, what colours are we gonna use? <laughs> So, um, so yes, it's always a fun time in the studio picking colours. Uh, actually, we normally get to it quite off, quite quick. Oh, quite, yeah. We normally, yeah. we don't We're, spend too much time. No. Either. We see eye on eye on a lot of colours. Well, and we don't. Because I can just see right over your eyes. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, stop the silliness. We really enjoy these Dutch pours. Mm. I love that blue. I'm really, I'm really, really getting into um, using base coat colours rather than just white or black. Yeah. I think for me, I was always just very stuck with the white or black base, but I've been using like oranges and blues and all sorts of things recently. So yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. It was, I loved how mine came out. And, and you used that orange. I did. Beautifully, and I know it's your favorite color. It is. So it was a lot of yeah. fun. Why don't we take you in to have another look at the pieces that we just poured? So we hope that you enjoyed them as much as we enjoyed pouring them for you. Yeah. Um, we got to use Little Pinky, which was a Christmas gift from Mina, so thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, they were really, really fun pours. They were. Yeah, I enjoyed them I a really lot. I really liked those. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. You know, they were good Dutch pours. I just feel like the more practice you have at a technique, the better you get at it. Yes, and you guys started with us here on our journey back in August, mm -hmm. and we'd only really been pouring for a couple of months. Yeah. So um, yeah, as you see us grow, we're growing right here on the channel. Um, thank you so much to everyone who's been with us today and chatting in the premiere and joining us on this journey. We appreciate you all. Um, please like and subscribe and come back for the next episode. Um, we'll be here pouring, having yes. lots of fun. Hopefully we'll see you there. Thanks everyone, have a good evening. Bye guys. Bye. So, there are some extra special people that we really want to thank, and that's our Patreons. Yes. Or we like to call them the Massey Posse. Our Patreon account is something very separate to YouTube. Um, but what it does is it allows certain people the opportunity to come and get an extra special look I at know. the studio. It does. And um, there are different levels, and within the different levels you get different perks. The perks range from things like sneak peek pictures, and sneak peek videos. Yes. All the way through to live chats with us in a WhatsApp group that we set up for certain levels. Um, all the way through to being able to come on to tutorials once a month. Yes. And live streams once a month. And our diamond level pourers will also get the opportunity to pick the colors for one episode. We pour on 11 by 14 canvases, and then that person, the people at the platinum, the diamond level, will get the chance to pick one of those two canvases. Yes. So it's super, super fun. Um, and we've got some special people to thank. So at the gold level, we've got Gloria, AKA Glitzy. We've got Jen Riley. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Trisha West. West. We've got Janice Pittman and we've got Janice Swansea. Yes. Thank you to our gold pourers. We also have at the platinum level, 
Leslie Beaver, and our diamond pourer, someone you all know and love, that's Sparkles, Laurie Finza. Yes. So thank you so much to everyone at those levels. Also here listed beneath is everyone else um, at all the other levels. We really appreciate you. We thank you for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio. Thank you so much, Patreons.